Welcome to my architectural board presentation for my project 3B isolation cabin at Tasik Aman. So my cabin called Terata. This is my first board for the design statement. Terata is located at the Tasik Aman in University Science Malaysia, Pulau Pinang. Uh, it is designed to give the inhabitant a sense of being at home despite being isolated. So the Terata name is derived from the Malay word which means a small house for temporary living. Um, it is located at the southwest of uh, Tase Aman, uh, which provides a good spot for air ventilation and natural lighting. And the cabin is built with two end opening to promote cross ventilation. For the site synthesis, I start with the SWOT analysis. For the strength, it has a good ventilation and natural lighting, less merely good view of lake, white, and a flat land for easy construction. For the weaknesses of the proposed site is that it has noise from the nearby Desiswa Aman. It has a uh, security issue because of less lighting at the night and also the presence of wild animals and insects. The opportunity of the site is that by improving the access to the cabin and also improving a privacy from the nearby hotel and opportunity for passive ventilation. The challenges at the proposed sites are privacy issue and security and also it has a low circulation because it is located away from the three main entrance to the Tasi Aman. Next is design concept. So basically Terata is designed based on the combination of the two different functional keyboard into an isolation cabin to cater the needs of the client which are privacy and activity. So the privacy parts consists of the bedroom, working area and the bathroom while the activity part consists of the needs of the client to relax and eat with an open deck that let the air pass through for air vent for cross ventilation. And the hallway acts as a connector to the rest parts of the cabin and the orientations of the cabin is determined by the wind direction from the southwest of Tasik Aman, increasing the cross ventilation and thus results in lower energy, energy consumption. There are three architectural elements in this isolation cabin which, is, which are classical look, sense of home and optimizing cross ventilation. This is my second board. It shows the side plan, the roof plan, and there are three side improvements which are to increase more lampposts for security, to increase connectivity, and also to put more tree spotlights for security purposes. This is my floor plan with a total floor area of 38 square meter. It is cut at three sections which are AA. BB and CC and at the bubble diagram as you can see the hallway or the linkage from the entrance has the highest connectivity to all zones of the cabin these are the three sections of my isolation cabin for section BB as you can see the floor is lifted 600 meter higher which means the 300 millimeter, sorry, 300 millimeter higher compared to the other parts of the cabin. This is my third board. It shows the exterior perspective from the northwest and also the interior perspective of the living hall with the kitchen and the interior perspective of the bathroom. These are the front elevation and right elevation. This is my last spot. It shows the rear elevation and also the left elevation of the cabin. And this one is the uh, isonometric drawing of a partially exploded isometric that shows uh, the exterior and interior part of the cabin. And these are the details of the structural joint for detail A, detail B and detail C. Detail A shows how the open deck is connected. Detail B shows how the exterior extended windows is built. This one. With a steel reinforced concrete. And detail C shows how the roof rafter is connected to the wall. 
So this is my overall architectural board composition. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much.